So what'd you do this weekend, eh? I I went and had some Outback. It was pretty tasty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Outback. Never go to Outback. Why? Because they're Satanists, man. Satanists? On the show. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys had a good, good weekend. I know I uh, sure did. I had a pretty decent yeah. weekend myself. Right? Well, uh, we're back again with uh, What You Might Have Missed. Mm -hmm. And we've got some <laughs> entertaining ones today. I don't even know what else to call it other just, than just entertainment. Just entertainment. Yeah. Just pure entertainment. Yeah. What you got, man? <clears throat> well, I got, you know, over in Europe, I've got a, a high-speed theft of iPhones. Uh, in the Netherlands, a, a series of five men were arrested for stealing $600,000 worth of iPhones. So like seven or eight of them? Yeah, or probably like seven or eight. Yeah. But here's the kicker. They're kind of expensive. The delivery van was still moving. Mm -hmm. Dutch police said Romanian men, five of them between 33 and 43, pulled up behind the truck of a, within a modified van and stole them out of the moving delivery truck and the delivery van was was driven by vin diesel and uh, ludicrous uh, co-pilot yeah, he jumped out yeah. and uh uh, I don't know who else is in the movies. <clears throat> I don't. Really. Yeah, not, not my thing. The Rock was obviously yeah, the right. Dwayne yeah. was was while he took time out for his presidency run. Right. He arrested them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, authorities uh, said similar crimes have been reported across uh, Europe involving vans being made and modified to make the hood less slippery to stand on while the vehicles were in motion. <laughs> okay. So we. So you said they they they, they did arrest the guys, right? They did arrest the guys. Okay. Yes. So. Oh. Because I, I was really thinking that otherwise it would just be like two guys going, two guys I don't know what driving happened. a truck and uh, like lost some stuff or maybe they took some stuff and was just like, it wasn't our man, fault. it was so weird. They like we were just we were just driving, and driving, and the stuff's just gone, man. I don't, I, I, these guys in a van uh, came and stole came it from Ty, our van. Tyrese. Like jumps out of a van <laughs> with Jason Statham and it's just gone, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um. The uh, Krasowski, who was the uh, uh, the police officer, uh, went on to quote, and I quote from him, the truck was taking its freight from A to B and did not stop. Even so, the phones were gone, so it must have happened in the way we described, and oh, now we have. finally have the evidence of the, and the van and the loot. Case closed. Yeah. These will be being released in American theaters late next year after right. we get some... <laughs> Fast uh, and Furious episodes. Nine, what are we on? Twelve, nine, ten, know. something? Anyway, Spoo, take us. Oh, I'm going to jump over to Massachusetts for a minute. Steve, the missing Russian tortoise found after three years as a renegade. Renegade. He's a renegade. He's a, he's a rebel, an outlaw, a defector from the human world. But after three years on the lam in Massachusetts, Steve the tortoise is set to be reunited with his old family. Uh, the Daniela, here we go Tessanova. with these fun names again, Svetsanova, so there's your Russian part, I guess, or it's a Russian tortoise, I guess, uh, told the local newspaper, uh, the Waltham Patch, that Steve, a Russian tortoise, was her son's beloved pet. But in October of 2014, after living with the family for five years, Steve disappeared from the family home in Waltham. At the time, uh, she posted on Patch that the family had thought that he might have slipped out the door while they were opening the door to the home. He's not dangerous. Uh, they put out flyers and everything and uh, said that he's five inches long and four inches wide. And of course, you know, they found him probably at like a local pet store. Probably. Because, I mean, let's face it, what are the odds of finding a tortoise three years after it I like I like the I love fact. that it slips out the front door yeah, so it's no. like it was waiting to just sprint I like the fact that she had to tell everybody the tortoise isn't dangerous yeah I like, mean, it's unless not you're like a ninja of, turtle yeah right then and maybe that's what he was doing for those three years he's just training ninjutsu with a giant rat there you go in the sewer yeah that's that's yeah. probably that's what I'm going that's, you know that works for me yeah I want I want to believe in you so three other missing <laughs> turtles from somewhere in Massachusetts are learning ninjutsu. They're learning as well. ninjutsu so they can They're defend us fight from the, the foot shredder. Player. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So from one reptile to another reptile. Oh boy. Hey, reptile killing granny. Oh. Yeah. Seventy-two year old Oklahoma woman is being praised online after killing eleven. Count them eleven copperheads in her house. That doesn't seem like that much. Well, they're copperheads. Well, though. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, in, under, well, under her under, house. Under her house. So, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Did, she, did she climb under the house to kill it them? It doesn't say, but uh, that Sarah, would be cool. Susan Thompson posted a series of photos to Facebook. 
showing her elderly neighbor, Mrs. Newberry, and the venomous snake she killed in her lacquery home using a shotgun, a shovel, and a rake. She's going to need a home decorator. She killed a shotgun to kill snakes. She's going to need a home decorator <laughs> after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. Newberry killed 11 copperheads last night in the house. She's a snake killer, so if you need help, you know who to call. A 72-year-old woman. Yep. Yeah. Uh, family members said Miss Newberry killed four more snakes the day after she took care of the first 11. The biggest snake she killed? Five and a half foot western diamondback. That's almost my height, guys. Good lord. Wow, it's what, I want to know, why does she have so many copperheads and, and rattlesnakes? You know, there is a church under that deals her house. with poisonous snakes and venom and... I venom and venom 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 Yeah. Well, venom uh... Venom. Speaking of dealing with weird things, um, <laughs> jumping over. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice segue. Segway. I'm going to jump over to London here for a moment to Victor Wynn's Museum of Curiosities and uh, decide what's stranger, the museum or the owner himself. Uh, the London-based Wynn is a character straight out of a creepy black and white movie. His museum is just as bizarre, featuring everything from animal skulls and McDonald Happy Meals toys to condoms confiscated from hotel rooms where the Rolling Stones slept. Oh, that's just... Oh! Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, the, but the, uh, the number, what the article actually based this story on, he also has a jar in which floats Amy Winehouse's poop. Feces de resistance. Re did you really just say that? Oh, I quoted the line right there. Oh, good lord. Oh, god. <laughs> is that an actual line? Yeah. That is an actual the line. The article actually does say the feces, feces de resistance <laughs> is Wynn's Museum. It's probably the jar that supposedly contains the late singer's poop. Uh, Wind, ever the entrepreneur, charges an additional fee to customers who want to take a whiff of it. You know what? No, I'll pass. That's okay. Yeah. So, I mean, just just take a look at this guy. We have a casket that contains some of the original darkness that Moses called down upon her. There is some blood that I squeezed from a stone. Amy Winehouse's poo. Yeah, so I mean, you can see he's not a normal everyday dude, but he, he actually opened the museum as an artistic prank back in 2009, and it just kind of... Got to start it, making him some money. Yeah, I mean, he said it was just kind of a bogus curiosity <clears throat> shop, an attack on shops from one who hates shops and shopping, stuff with incredibly useless and revolting things staffed by actors who would perform a script of unsus on unsuspecting customers. Uh, the joke, however, turned out to be on wind as it actually, as the museum actually attracts as many as 500 paying customers a week. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's you can go, go sniff the poop people. of uh, yeah, no the lady you. Amy Winehouse. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. So, so we go from dead to wanting to More reunite dead. with the dead. Mm. Uh, out of Kentucky, the uh, grandson, the grandson's friends, are charged with digging up grandmother's grave. Mm. Uh, this is out of, it doesn't Kentucky. really tell me where, it just says Kentucky. Uh, a large hole was discovered next to the tombstone of Emily Howard, and authorities in Kentucky say her grandson and his friends have admitted to digging up the corpse in search of valuables. So we're trying Maybe they were to looking for some hard candies. I guess the only thing they're really going to smell is like mothballs. And that are like decay and yeah. perfume. Uh, when we got that there, old lady perfume. Uh, they had definitely dug the grave up until the top of the vault and everything was exposed. Martin County Sheriff John Kirk told, told the news. An investigation was launched and on Tuesday, police arrested the deceased woman's grandson, 33, uh, and his friends, 26 and 22. Hmm. So, police say both so, men confessed in being involved in the crime. And I quote from the sheriff, they had to be in a bad mindset. Anybody in their right mind, I don't think, would have been up there digging out a grave. It's crazy. And we're sure they were just looking for valuables and not performing, like, satanic rituals? I don't know. Satanic. Does what? you know who is performing satanic rituals? Tell me! Outback Steakhouse! What?! That's right! That's right! Uh, who doesn't love going to Outback Steakhouse? Good fun. Good food, fun times, satanic rituals. Oh, uh, yes. I knew their lobster was too good to be true. A recent deep dive by Twitter user, I love this, Eat My Aesthetics, uh, into the restaurant's chain locations had the internet raising some eyebrows. The user's tweet had been retweeted more than 100,000 times and is starting... Uh, and has started, actually, a, a real, <laughs> actual real investigation, investigation 
into the real intentions of Popular Steakhouse. Now, take a look at this tweet and the locations of Outback Steakhouses. And tell me, do you think it's something, notice a pattern kind of going on here? It's kind of creepy looking, I'm yeah. telling you. We should uh, we should look into like the local ones and see. Actually, I think we have did a, we, did we look that we have a clip of the local yeah. ones. So, I mean, it, you can kind of do like a, a bit of a wonky looking star there, but uh, but nonetheless, yeah, yeah, maybe you they're can, on you something. Can, maybe they yeah, they put on their thinking caps, their their noodle noggins. Noodle noggins. <laughs> yeah. So I think after you know you bring in the devil to something, that's when we've got to wrap it up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we need to go go to church. Yeah, we got to go to church. Uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I got to get clean. Get some clean. It's exercise the demons. So uh, yeah, what if we miss? Let us know in the comments below. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and uh, make sure you do all the YouTubes as well. The liking, liking the, the sharing, sharing, subscribing, the subscribing and the sharing and the especially sharing and subscribing. Hey, hey did you mention the subscribing because it's really important they subscribe. i did but i think i might have meant, forgot to mention the sharing the sharing's yeah. important so too. the sharing yeah. and the subscribing those hit are, that those like button give us a like too hit we the want little to see bell the so you know when we come up mm -hmm. and stuff like that so yeah we'll be back tomorrow and um yeah until then bow. hi i'm daniel gray and i'm from springfield missouri and here's your russian clip of the day Yeah, rest